What's up, party people? Today we are looking at Decron's new solo dungeon, Karen's Transport Ship, uh, named after the party dungeon that is also called Karen's Transport Ship. Uh, this dungeon has been out for some time now, and I'm finally getting around to looking at it. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at it, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what I think, right? Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming content. Let's get this party started. Well guys, upon getting home from work today, I recalled that a new solo dungeon was released in Decron. And this was actually a solo dungeon that I had hyped up quite some time ago uh, because there were some videos from Decron Korea and they actually made like a really cool little promotional video about it and stuff like that, which we didn't get any of here, which isn't surprising because for some reason uh, Decron Global, Papaya, whatever, never wants to advertise any of their stuff ever. Um, I don't know why. Uh, but they don't. Maybe it's because they don't want people to know how horribly they treat their players, but uh, who knows. Anyway, so I hopped on and I was like, okay, I'm going to try out this solo dungeon. So the first thing I was kind of trying to decide is, do I want to try this on my Alokan, on Helian server, or should I hop on Tristy and do my wizard? And I was like, well, it's probably going to be a walk in the park for my wizard, right? So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to play on my Alokan because my Alokan isn't really that strong. Um, and I'll kind of get a real gauge of like how hard the dungeon was. And I have to say, uh, the dungeon is semi-hard. Um, I had a hard time. I can't believe I just said semi-hard. Please don't make fun of me for that. Anyway, I had a s fairly hard time completing the dungeon with my Alokan. Most of the bosses were fairly easy. They took a while just because my damage wasn't super, you know, high. Um, but only really one of them got close to killing me, and that was the second-to-last boss. And that was because he had kind of like this shield bash mechanic, uh, which was kind of difficult to deal with. But overall, not too bad. The uh, charm of the dungeon, or like what, like what did I think about how the dungeon looked? I mean, basically they just took bits and pieces from the uh, transport ship party dungeon and the expedition dungeon and kind of mished them together um, to kind of make what we have here. Now that expedition dungeon, I'm actually, I, I believe they removed it and they put in the solo dungeon and I'm actually really happy about that because having an expedition dungeon is... I'm going to be honest with you, very silly, just because it's very challenging to get, I think you need like 10 or 12 players to get it going. Like that's very difficult to do unless you're just going to have a bunch of people log in like all their alts or something. So this was a good idea. Um, and the primary thing that's good about this is you can get the pirate coins from doing this solo dungeon, which are needed to upgrade your majestic earring. So um, I'm happy that there is a way to farm those uh, coins. I don't know what the drop rate is like. Is like I did not get one when I ran this dungeon uh, but you guys will have to let me know if you've done this dungeon a bunch, like, well, like what the drop right or drop rate is like. Um, but, uh, that's needed for the earring. So that's cool. Uh, overall though, I will say the rewards for this dungeon, I was looking through them in the uh, update post. They're not like, I don't know guys, like they're just not, they're not super good. Um, like, why are we, like, come on, it's it, it's 2020, we're using Heffron and Helian gear and Zudo weapons, like, why are we dropping normal Argates for a level 185 solo dungeon? You're level 185, you're working on your epic gear, they should really drop condensed Argates in this dungeon, it would just make more sense. Um, the Shining Cardia, oh, it also drops Shining Cardia, which you also need, um, which you also need for, uh, well, one of your rings. I, I can't even remember which ring it is, but for the but you, you can get the Shining Cardia too. Uh, but I just, like, like the Copper Argates, they should be condensed. Like, the Silver Argates should be condensed. Gold should be condensed. I just really think it should be. It'd be better for farming. Um, but yeah. It drops the Synced Sailor Ring. Now, the Synced Sailor Ring is the lowest version of the Abyssal Sailor Ring. And the Abyssal Sailor Ring can be crafted, or the Abyssal Sailor Ring also drops in the party dungeon. And actually, I feel like this is a fairly good balance here. Like, if you're doing the the, the solo dungeon, you probably just get, like, the level, like, like, the basic ring, which you can, like, slowly obtain and upgrade on your own if you're going to be doing it solo. Um, or you can do the party dungeon to get them faster. So actually, that kind of makes sense to me. And then, like I said, the pirate coin um, and a captain pirate's chest. I actually don't even know... Um, oh, oh, the Captain's Pirate Chest can drop a bunch of Shining Cardia, apparently. As many as 600 Shining Cardia can be found in the Captain Pirate's Treasure Chest. That would be crazy. I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out more. But I still would have liked to see better rewards. This is now the highest level uh, solo dungeon in Decron, and I just feel like the rewards should, ma 
match the like amount of effort that you have to put in. Like I said, it's very hard. It takes a while to do. Um, and I don't know. I would just like to see dungeons be more rewarding, guys. Like I don't. I, I don't know if it's just me, but having more rewarding dungeons would just. I don't know. It, it would make me want to play. You know, it make me hop on and want to play. And even this one, like this dungeon's actually kind of enjoyable, and I enjoy the way it was set up and made. Um, but I can only do it once a day because you know it's the solo dungeon thing. And what I think is super annoying about it is they say on here that you have to use, if, if you want to use it again, or if you want to do it again, you have to use super passes, which I find really annoying because they finally made it so you could get, you know, camouflages with seeds, so you could go do all your solo dungeons a bunch of times. But no, this one, you have to pay for. You have to go buy the super passes. And I find that annoying. I feel like you should have been able to use camouflages for this dungeon as well. But I don't know. It's just every, every update's about milking money. So, I mean, that's just, that's just kind of how it goes, guys. I... I don't know. Uh, the final boss, the Death Herald, I was kind of worried about it because if you guys fight the Death Herald in the party dungeon, uh, he's actually pretty hard. And there's like this blue stuff that pops up on the ground that can one-shot you and he hits really hard. Um, this is definitely like a watered-down version of him. Um, he really does not hit that hard and there's no blue water to watch out for. However, there are spikes that pop up and those spikes do actually do a lot of damage. I actually had a scary moment where I was walking into the room for the final boss and I spawned in right on top of spikes and it almost killed me. So um, I'm happy it didn't or I probably wouldn't be making this video today or maybe I would use a clip with my wizard or something, guys. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so this is the solo dungeon. Uh, overall, I think it's fun how they did it. I think the various bosses they put in it are pretty cool. I like a dungeon where you can just fight boss after boss after boss. I think it's fun, kind of like Dragon's Nest. Um, however, I do think the, uh, the the rewards should be better. I mean, I mean, yes, you're getting the stuff you need for the uh, uh, Majestic Earring, but in reality, guys, the Majestic Earring is good, but it's not like it's not like it's crazy OP or something, right? So it's just like 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 I don't know. It's just I would have liked to see more rewards in this dungeon. You know, like maybe some like plus seven, 185 gear or something, or like a weapon, or I don't know. It's just it's just not rewarding enough, um, for me at least, that I see myself doing this dungeon every day. I, I really don't see myself doing this dungeon, this dungeon every day just because I don't think it's rewarding enough. So that's just kind of how it goes. I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think of this dungeon. Um, I did have fun checking it out, and uh, I would really like to hear what you guys think about it as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or suggestions, as always, you can leave them in the comments. And until next time, take care.